Supernatural predstavlja Zelena arhitektura, ajde malo da to počnemo sa jednog drugog kraja. Prvo da razumemo šta je zelena zgrada, ajde da provamo to da razvesnimo, da je demistifikujemo. Zelena zgrada ima neke tri definicije. Objekat koji je maksimalne udobnosti ili nivoa konfornih uslova, to je objekat minimalne potrošnje energije i minimalnog negativnog uticaja na okolinu. We can look to traditional building for great examples of what green building is really all about. It's saying, what is the best building that I can possibly build given any budget? Behind us is an eco pavilion, uh, and it's very symbolic of the partnerships that are taking place to help promote the green movement here in Serbia. Zlato, sunce je zlato Ti piješ vino ispod slamna tog šešira Mina šara i obrazi Ima zlato, sunce je zlato Ti piješ vino ispod slamna tog šešira What we're seeing in Serbia is a greatly increased levels of awareness and it's a lot more than that because the knowledge is here expertise is here. I would say this is a country of geniuses in many respects. And, and the next steps and what we're starting to witness is activities and Supernatural uh, event is one great example of this, of campaigning, awareness raising, and we expect to see a lot that will follow up from this in terms of implementation of green projects. Supernatural i Društvo arhitekata Beograda je krajem prošle godine raspisalo konkurs za dizajn, to je strešenje za Eko Paviljon koji će se po prvi put postaviti na Supernaturalu festivalu na Hajdučkoj Česmi. Znači, Supernatural je obezbedio za vreme radionica da Eduard François, čuveni franski arhitekta, održi predavanje na Arhitektonskom fakultetu na kome je prezentovao svoj način rada, svoja rešenja i to je bilo izuzetno značajno, ja mislim, za sve koji su prisustovali in a few words, uh, green architecture is an opportunity to change architecture because uh, there's rules in architecture, there's a bad reflex and uh, if, you, uh, if you think about green architecture, there's, there's not so much experimentation that has been done, that means the field is opened and it's a way to return to freedom. are linked to insulation, uh, to thermical problem, uh, climatization, heatness, and to the problematic of uh, uh, recycle. So these are, these are all these problematic. And I think you can, uh, regarding to the specificity of your project, develop one, two of these parts. If you do two parts, that's okay. You will be safe. When you don't have uh, solutions, when you are totally lost, the best thing you have is your intuition. And so I developed my intuition and I think it's the best thing I did in my life. Zgrada je efikasna arhitektura, mora da ima idealan oblik, 
idealnu orijentaciju, idealno pozicioniranje između ostalih objekata, idealan odnos otvora i komunikacija, idealno rešen odnos fasade i instalacija i odnos prema hortikulturi ako su niži elementi i tako dalje. Znači, to je minimum elementa koje ona mora da ima idealno u smislu da bi skoristila maksimum iz prirode. Mi imamo najveću potrošnju energije po glavi stanovnika, jedna od najvećih u Evropi. Znači, da najviše rasipamo i bacamo. Ovde šta treba uraditi? Ovde treba leti, staviti kuću pod senku, a zimi pod sunce. I to arhitektonskim elementima na samom objektu. Samo ako to ispratite, vi ćete u Beogradu da uštedite na hlađenju 60%, a na grejanju, recimo, bar 20 ili 15 posto. To je već efekat, a govorimo samo o dve mere. When we look right across the Danube to New Belgrade would be Ušće Tower. Um, it was, of course, reconstructed, as we all know, and part of the retrofit of Ušće was to put in a very special system in the basement of the building. They actually freeze ice at night, and then they use that stored thermal ice energy to cool the building during the day. So it's an ice chiller system. It's a great example of a technology that we can walk right by the building and we have no idea it's there. But it's evidence that there is so much going on. Really, every building in Belgrade, you could walk up and find something that's green, something that's good. And now our challenge is, can we put this all in one building? Can we do this as a holistic strategy? Nadam se da smo pokrenuli bar jedan mali promil ljudi da razmišljaju u tom smeru.